Um, anywhere else in the world where you're seeing, you know, things being done a little differently or, or where the response has been, has been unusual or, or unexpected? I would say Taiwan is a good example to bring about. Taiwan is a, a country that was, has been very aggressive. I was part of a team that evaluated Taiwan 10 years after uh, SARS. So I spent a lot of time there understanding their system and, and they basically uh, pounced on this virus as soon as they heard about it and started to really be aggressive with testing and, and ensuring that they weren't going to have anything uh, basically enter their island and collapse their island. And I think Taiwan is a good example. And one of the injustices of this whole thing is that Taiwan isn't talked about because they're not members of the WHO. They're prohibited from being in the WHO, not because they did anything wrong, but because they did something right. They, they respect individual rights and, and China does not allow them there. And I think that that's really one of the stories that needs to be told. And the Taiwanese vice president is actually a PhD epidemiologist, as far as wow. I know. So they're, they're very good. And most of the, these Taiwanese uh, infectious disease experts are all trained in America. They're, they're really, really uh, top of the line. And, yeah. uh, and the, one of them just gave, a, the vice president just gave a, a webinar. I think it's available on the Johns Hopkins website where, where they talked about their experience. So I think this is a, a great success story, again, for Taiwan, which is, is horribly overlooked all the time. It's tragic, and it's not just the WHO, of course. They're not in the UN. They're, they're the only country, the only state that's not a member of the United Nations. They And the United States does not have an embassy in Taiwan. There is an institute for something that serves the equivalent of an embassy, but there's no official diplomatic relations, as, as ridiculous and absurd as that is, between the United States and the Taiwanese government. It's, and, and their sin is that they are free. And, and as compared to China, which is an authoritarian regime. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...